USS Iwo Jima returned to port today after providing humanitarian aid and disaster relief in Haiti. Hurricane Matthew slammed into Haiti, killing hundreds there. Channel Force Crystal Moyer spoke to the ship's commander, who says they were already out at sea dodging that dangerous storm. The USS Iwo Jima behind me can weigh up to 40,000 tons, and it's about 850 feet in length. The sailors tell me the hurricane can bring some heavy winds and high water that'll cause the ship to rock and crash up against the dock, damaging some of the infrastructure here at Naval Station Mayport. So they went out to sea to avoid the storm, but when they got the call for help, they were ready to respond. Uh, we saw a lot of debris in the water, you know, a lot of them. You know, a lot of ruin of the buildings and, and the houses they lived in. USS Iwo Jima and its crew of more than 1,000 sailed to Norfolk to pick up hundreds of Marines and even encountered problems of their own. We had to fight our way out of Norfolk, so Matthew caught up with us and uh, that wasn't a fun ride either. The crew was able to assist other military forces that responded to Haiti just hours after Matthew made impact. Get our helicopters into a lot of remote areas there that, that the roads were washed out and ours was the first food and water and the medical supplies they received. They delivered more than 600,000 pounds of supplies, including 800 cases of bottled water, aiding about 100,000 Haitians. It was a little bit sad at first, but I know we're going to go out there to do some good work. So uh, that was um, fulfilling. The devastation hit home for Deshiva Francois. He's a Haiti native who joined the United States Navy about two years ago. It's my home, uh, but I'm also a sailor. So anyone will have to respond. I would be very happy to go out to help. And uh, this is just a coincidence. It was my home. <laughs> the crew worked around the clock helping those impacted by the storm. Francois says Haiti has been through devastation before and is confident the country and its people will recover. I was proud of them because uh, I knew they would fight through it once again. The ship is now docked and the sailors are heading back to their families. The USS Iwo Jima will be refueled and prepared for its next mission. Reporting at Naval Station Mayport, Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.